All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his glorious book, The hypocrites, both men and women, are all the same. They order what's wrong and forbid what's right. They are tight-fisted. They have ignored Allah, so he has ignored them. The hypocrites are the disobedient ones. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master Prophet Muhammad is his father and messenger, who said, there are three signs of a hypocrite. When he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he breaks it. And when he is trusted, he betrays the trust. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. There is no doubt that hypocrisy is a serious disease and a fatal problem that threatens individuals and nations. It is one of the most serious inner diseases that destroy one's faith and destroy its foundations. It is a social and moral scourge that threatens security, safety, and stability of the society. Therefore, its danger is greater than the danger of disbelief and shirk or polytheism. Because when it spreads in one nation, it will dismantle it and shatter its unity. In addition, the weapon of treason is a critical danger that threatens countries and their existence as seen throughout history. Nations that have been destroyed, torn, or even went into oblivion have experienced this because of inner elements of traitors and agents who sold out their nations. The dangers that threaten countries from inside are far greater and far more serious than those coming from the outside. We should know, however, that hypocrisy is, one of, is of two types, major and minor. The first is the, the major hypocrisy, which is more dangerous. It is the hypocrisy in belief, which means to show Islam and hide disbelief. A person with this form of hypocrisy will be an eternal dweller in the hellfire and will even be in the lowest ranks in it. The second type of hypocrisy is minor hypocrisy. This is the practical hypocrisy, which means the deviation from good manners. It means to show righteousness and hide otherwise. This type does not bring one out of Islam entirely. However, it is a path to the major hypocrisy if not stopped. The glorious Quran and the prophetic sunnah tell us about hypocrites and their descriptions, morals, and signs. The Signs of hypocr hypocrites include the following ones. Lying, breaking promises, dishonesty, and being abusive in enmity. These are among the most heinous qualities of hypocrites, as described by the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they are practical manifestations of hypocrisy. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Four are the qualities which, when found in a person, make him a sheer hypocrite. And one who possesses possesses one of them, possesses the characteristic of hypocrisy until he abandons it. These are, when he is entrusted with something, he betrays the trust. When he speaks, he lies. When he promises, he acts treacherously. And when, when he argues, he behaves in a very imprudent, insulting manner. Whoever meets these qualities or one of them becomes a hypocrite. And these qualities negatively affect the interests of the nation and destroy it. It is often that we see hypocrites tell lies to deceive others. As Allah said, there is a kind of man whose views on the life of this world may please you, O Prophet. He even calls on God to witness what's in his heart, yet he is the bitterest of opponents. When the Quran speaks about hypocrisy, deception, and dishonesty, it mentions this in connection with lying. Allah says, They seek to deceive God and the believers, but they only deceive themselves, though they do not realize it. There is a disease in their hearts to which God has added more. Agonizing torment awaits them for their persistent lying. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has warned us against lying, showing its consequences, saying, Beware from lying. Lying leads to transgression, and transgression leads to the hellfire. 
A man continues to tell lies till he is recorded with Allah as a great liar. The Messenger of Allah was asked, Can a believer be a coward? He said, Yes. He was asked again, Can he be a miser? He said, Yes. Again he was asked, Can he be a liar? He said, No. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq described the lie as treason, saying, Truthfulness is honesty and lying is, uh, is dishonesty. In addition, treason severs the bonds of love, incites hatred, and leads to conflict, discord, and corruption in dealings. The Prophet, peace be upon him, showed that treachery will incur regret on the day of judgment, saying, For every betrayer, a flag will be raised on the day of resurrection, and it will be announced publicly. This is the betrayal of, son of so and so, the son of so and so. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, I will contend on the day of resurrection against three types of people. One who makes a covenant in my name and then breaks it. One who sells a free man as a slave and devours his price. And one who hires a workman and having taken full work from him, does not pay him his wages. One of the most dangerous types of betrayal is to betray one's homeland for a cheap price, as the case of radical groups and their followers. Another characteristic that Islam has warned us from is abusiveness in enmity. This is the source of every evilness and the cause of deviation from the truth. Such a person who is abusive in enmity will turn the truth into falsehood and vice versa. Allah says, There is a kind of man whose views on the life of this world may please you, O Prophet. He even calls on God to witness what's in his heart, yet he is the bitterest of opponents. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The most hated person in the, in the sight of Allah is the most quarrelsome person. The most accurate description of the people of hypocrisy is that they are double-faced people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, you will find the worst among the people of a double-faced person who appears to some people with one face and to others with another face. <clears throat> also, among the signs of hypocrisy is corruption in the land while claiming reformation. The Almighty Allah says, when it is said to them, do not cause corruption in the land, they say, we are only putting things right. but." Really, they are causing corruption, though they don't realize it. Corruption has many forms, including to spread fear in land, to implant weakness in the hearts of the honest believers, to promote deviant ideas, misconceptions, and to spread sedition among people. The Almighty Allah says, They would only have given you trouble if they had gone out to battle with you. They would have screwed around trying to sow discord among you and some of you would willingly have listened to them god knows exactly who does evil allah most high also says they said to one another do not go to war in this heat say hellfire is hotter if only they understand and says god knows exactly who among you hinder others who secretly say to their brothers come and join us who hardly ever come out to fight the list of corruption also include depriving people of their due rights and degrading them Allah the Almighty says and do not deprive people of their due rights and do not commit, commit abuse on earth spreading corruption it also includes destruction vandalism killing the innocent terrifying the safe and the secure Delaying the fulfillment of people's needs, not shouldering the due responsibility, bribery, nepotism, and the lawful consumption of people's money. Laziness in offering acts of worship, and if, not, and if done, their observation is not sincerely for the sake of Allah, but for showing off, is another kind of hypocrisy. Allah Most High says, indeed, the hypocrites think to deceive Allah, but he is deceiving them. And when they stand for a prayer, they stand lazily, showing themselves to people and not remembering Allah except a little. He also says, 
and what prevents their expenditures from being accepted from them, but that they have disbelieved in Allah and in His Messenger, and that they come not to prayer except while they are lazy, and that they do not spend except while they are unwilling. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also said, No prayer is more burdensome to the hypocrites than the Fajr or Dawn prayer, and the Aisha or night prayer. And if they knew their merits, they would come to them even if they had to crawl to do so. Jabir ibn Abdullah also narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, O oh people, beware of the hidden polytheism. The companions replied, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what's the hidden polytheism? The Prophet replied, the man observes his prayer in the best way ever because people watch him. With that said, I ask Allah to forgive me and to forgive you. <clears throat> all praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet and upon his family and companions. Muslim brothers, one of the signs of hypocrisy is to ally with the enemies with the aim of causing harm to religion and homeland. This may take place through espionage, treachery, transmitting news and information and disclosing the secrets of the country to its enemies. That's to say that the hypocrite is a person who allies with the enemies of his country, causing harm thereby to the interests of his family, neighbors, and relatives. Allah Most High says, So you see those in whose hearts is disease hastening into association with them, saying, We are afraid of a misfortune may strike us, but perhaps Allah will bring conquest or bring a decision from him, and they will become over what they have been concealing within themselves regretful. Allah the Almighty also says, and indeed there is among you he who lingers behind, and if a disaster strikes you, he says, Allah has favored me in that I was not present with them. But if bounty comes to you from Allah, he will surely say, as if there had never been between you and him any affection. Oh, I wish I had been with them, so I could have attained a great attainment. The hip hypocrite rejoices if any evil befalls the country or its citizens, or in case a trial afflicts them, or a disease is spread among them, or if they are overtaken by a disaster. Allah the Almighty says, if God, if good touches you, it distresses them. But if harm strikes you, they rejoice at it. And if you are patient and fear Allah, their plot will not harm you at all. Indeed, Allah is encompassing of what they do. Yet, the new hypocrites have acquired new traits, including lying, treachery, betrayal, breaking covenants and promising, stirring the public opinion, betraying religion, and the new kind of deception topped by the exploitation of religion to achieve the interests of these groups that want to exploit religion to reach positions of authority, disguising in different forms of superficial and political religiousness, to the extent that they believe that they are the only Muslims, while others are not. They do so in order to provide legal coverage for their actions. Allah the Almighty has promised to punish this kind of people, affirming that His wrath will befall them in this earthly life and in the hereafter. Allah the Almighty says, but the evil plot does not encompass except its own people. Allah Most High even punished the greater hypocrisy with being hesitated, unstable, and frightening, as Allah the Almighty says, wavering between them, belonging neither to the believers nor to the disbeliever. And whoever Allah leaves astray never will find for him a way. Allah glorified as he also says, they think that every shout is against them. They are the enemy, so beware of them. May Allah destroy them. How are they deluded? 
Not only that, but Allah has driven their hearts away from understanding His teachings and those of His Messenger. Thus, guidance will not get into their hearts. Allah the Almighty says, this is because they believed and then they disbelieved. So, their hearts were sealed over and they do not understand. As for their punishment in the hereafter, Allah the Almighty says, and among those around you of the Bedouins are hypocrites, and also from the people of Medina. They have become accustomed to hypocrisy. O Muhammad, do not know them, but we know them. We will punish them twice in this world, then they will be returned to a great punishment. The first punishment is thus in this life, while the second will be in the grave. As for the greater one, it will be in the hereafter, when Allah Most High gathers the hypocrites with other wrongdoers in the hellfire. He the Almighty says, indeed Allah will gather the hypocrites and the disbelievers in hell all together. Allah the Almighty also says, indeed the hypocrites will be in the lowest depth in, of the fire, and never will you find for them a helper, except for those who repent, correct themselves, hold fast to Allah, and are sincere in their religion for Allah. For those will be with the believers, and Allah is going to give the believers a great reward. For the sake of protecting the homeland and safeguarding cohesion and safety, the watchful eyes of its sincere sons should be alert. Also, the efforts of all noble people should be promoted to eradicate the treacherous people who convey secrets to the criminal enemies. They should be disgraced before all people, so that they would be an admonition for anyone who thinks of following the path of treachery and betrayal. In order to protect our religion, homeland, honor, souls, and our children's future, and also to please Allah and protect our country from, from being afflicted with such atrocities that have befell other countries and which disregarded facing the treacherous people.